Hello battlers, this will be a first video in a series of um, scrims which I will do against good players. So if you don't know what a scrim is, it means to just play uh, practice matches against um, competitive players to um, improve yourself. So I'll be playing against Troll in this video. It's not really a best of five, I I'm just playing with him to improve. So we are playing an R3 Seed Bonanza, Blast of Populos. Um, the strategy that we got is Bomb, Wizard, and Chipper. We also have um, Spike Storm, Deactivated Abilities, and Crowded Bloons. When should I all out him? So round 11, he could defend using Spike Storm. Hmm, if I use Crowded Bloons, can he still defend? Probably yes. Yeah, I probably can. Like, if he spams lightning wizards and cluster bombs, I think he can defend. So round 11 is out of the question. Round 18, I could send a BFB and fast cooldown Moabs. Would that beat him? Hmm. He could chipper stall, but I could use deactivated abilities, but he can use a super white funnel, which can suck in BFB, so probably no. Um, in that case, I probably have to send at least a ZOMG to take him down. So, either round 22 or round 20. If I send round 20, I can send a ZOMG and fast cooldown PFPs, but um, a ZOMG is pretty slow, so even if I use deactivated abilities, eventually he will be able to use his abilities again. I'm still not sure which round I, I should all out. Okay, he's gonna rush me. Uh, some crowded balloons. Uh, okay, that rush didn't really work because of my balloon impact. Weird rush. I, I don't think that rush was good. So I'm just gonna eco until. Uh, right, I have to decide when I want to all out him, so. Round 20. I can send him a ZOMG and fast cooldown BFBs. Would that be enough? Mm, he can use Super White Funnel. He can use more Maulers. He can use Bloom Impacts to destroy Ceramics. Um, okay, I'm probably going to try round 20 all out. Uh, I don't know, but. If my if my deactivated abilities runs out, then he can use chipper to stall the balloons. And if he has chipper stall plus balloon impact, that should be able to destroy almost all the balloons. If he all outs me, I probably will just use warp assassins until it it's just BFBs left. Then I can just use chipper stall. If he uses deactivated abilities on me, um, I, I could try to wait for the deactivated abilities to run out, maybe. Actually, I'm, I'm probably I'm just going to stop ecoing right now, and I'm probably going to rush him on round 22, because it seems like a promising round to rush. I don't think round 20 would work, but round 22 probably. Just gonna get a bunch of more maulers. I should probably also get some wizards. I don't wanna die to camels. Don't want him to pull off any tricks on me. Okay, round 22 is next round. So let's start the rush right now. And I think I'll use deactivated abilities only when um, the balloons are really far. Okay, he's gonna counter me. I think I'm gonna try to not pop the, the ZOMGs. Okay, he's already dead. I, I didn't even have a chance to use my deactivated abilities. Okay, we are going to play Dread Bloom now. So we have Wizard, Ninja, and Monkey Ace. He's gonna start with an Ace. It's kind of funny. 
Um, oh, I, I think Troll is pretty good at um, Ace Micro, which means to um, target your Ace so that it flies where you want it to. I, I still don't know how to Ace Micro, but I, I don't really use Ace that often. I don't really use Start from Ace that often anymore because um, other strategies like Ninja Farm NG or Cobra or Tech Farm Mortar have proven to be better for me. But I think Dark Farm Ace is probably still the best strategy on Tempo. Um, but that might be the only map where Dark Farm Ace is the best. Um, if you disagree with me, you, you are welcome to um, tell me why you think Dark Farm Ace is the best strategy on maps other than Temple. Or you can tell me why you think um, Dark Farm Ace is not the best strategy on Temple. Okay, so we have yellows now. I think I'll use my rubber to go on round 8. He has an Operation Dark Storm. That's, that's a pretty good idea. I should get one too. It's pretty cost efficient. I think 8 path should be the best. I'm not too sure. Or maybe circle path. I think I'll just stick with 8 path. Okay, round 8 is here. I'm going to use rubber to gold right now so I can get some money off the pinks that he is sending. And of course he's going to stop sending pinks. Okay, that's okay. Whatever. Um, he's going to use this rubber to gold right now and I'm, I'm going to continue sending him pinks. Um, the reason for this is... I think e even though he gets money, um, the money he gets is... He gets like a constant amount of money, but I get eco, so it gives me money every round. So I think that's better. I don't know, it's hard to explain. And I didn't really do the math, so I, I don't know which one is really better. I don't know if I should stop sending if he gets rubber to gold, or if I should just continue sending. But usually I just continue. Because it gives me more, gives me more eco. If I stop sending, then my eco doesn't go up. Uh, we should be able to afford Spectre soon. Um, this game is definitely going very late because we have both um, Ninja and, and Ace. So we can use Ninja to stall the balloons and then we can use, use Ace to spam Ground Zeroes. And we have Rubber to Gold so we can try to regen farm on round 25, round 26. There are some regen rainbows in the AI, so we can try to regen farm and then we can get specters to pop the balloons or we can use we can just use jungle launch. Okay, so I'm gonna get a specter to anti-stall because uh, I want the rounds to go by more quickly because these rounds um, are pretty boring. Nothing much is happening right now. Um, in fact, I think I'll, I'll see you at round 25 when I'm gonna try to regen farm. So bye. And okay, round 25 is here, so I am going to use a Sabotage Supply Lines. And I'm going to spam these um, Tornado Wizards. Oh no, he's going to send me a... Uh, I'm just going to ground zero this Moab. Don't want that Moab to interfere with things. Uh, so let's see if we can regen farm. I don't know if we can, but let's try. Ah, uh, he's gonna send another Moab, so annoying. Ooh, I think this regen farm is working. It's working. Let's stall. Oh, those are Moabs from the AI. He's not sending them. Um, now I'm going to get Tempest Tornadoes. Uh-oh. Rubber to go. Uh, let's get Spectre. Ooh, that's a lot of money. Is my Spectre enough? Uh-oh. I might die. Okay, we, we have $471,000 right now. I, I think that regen farm was a success.
I, I somehow pulled it off. I, I thought I thought it wouldn't work. Especially since he was sending me those Moabs to annoy me. Okay, it, it somehow worked. I didn't really expect it would. But now we have half a million dollars. And I, I think uh, I can just stop ecoing right now and just build some specters to defend. It's already round 30, so I expect he will rush me soon. So I should probably just build Spectres. I'm not very sure if building Spectres or building Ground Zeroes are better. Like, I could fill the whole map with Ground Zeroes. That could be a good strategy, but I don't know. I'll just do Spectres. Okay, he's going to use Rubber to go on Round 32. Um, of course, it gives no way as nowhere as near money as much money as I got from round 25 region farming just gonna spam these specters I, I think the video quality could go down a bit with all those specters on the screen uh, that's kind of normal it's it's just because of the bit rate. So even if you're watching at 1080p, it could look a, a little bit blurry. That's okay. I can't really do anything much to help it. I think I'll rush him starting round 35. I, I have a ton of money, so might as well do it. Destroy. And I'm going to sabo. I don't know if he's able to defend this. Round 35 ZOMGs are pretty strong, so he should definitely struggle against this. Oh, he might be able to defend. Okay, let's Sabo. Yeah, he should be going down to this rush soon. Uh, if I win, I think it's mainly because of the rubber to gold I did on round 25, which just gave me so much money. Okay, actually it looks like he might be surviving. Uh, I don't know, this is gonna be close. Uh, those BFBs are pretty far and yeah, he's gonna go down first. I think I probably should have used some ground zeros to defend. We are gonna do offsite now and we have dart, village and mortar. Oh, we also have Salted Wounds, so I better not leak any lives. So let's place this start here. And I'm gonna go for a second dart, because I don't want to leak two pinks. Because if I do that, he will be able to get some extra eco from Salted Wounds. Actually, I think Salted Wounds doesn't really matter that much in this game mode, because it only gives like a hundred eco. And in the grand scheme of things, in this game mode, 100 eco doesn't really help that much. Of course, it's better than nothing, but it's not that big of a deal. Okay, we can send greens now. I'm gonna get another spike pult. I'm just gonna spam these spike pults. Okay, three spike bolts should be enough. Even for pinks, probably. Actually, I'm not sure about pinks. But it should be enough for defending greens. Okay, it's round six, and we can send yellows now. He's not sending me any balloons for some reason. I hope he didn't disconnect. Yeah, he's not disconnecting. He, he has... he just built a dart monkey. Okay, now he is sending me yellows, so I should have a bit more ego than him because he wasn't sending me any balloons for a while. Oh, I forgot to use Salted Wounds on him. Okay, I think we got a few lives off him with that Salted Wounds. I, I don't think it helps that much. Okay, so we have Dark Mortar, and Village. Um, Eventually, I want to get a monkey town, so that's the third tier left side village upgrade, and 
it gives you more eco for every balloon you send. Um, also, it reduces the income penalty when you send more class balloons. So that's that's also one way it helps. He has a pretty weird juggernaut spot, but it seems to be working. So. So I'm gonna save up until I have about 9,000 and then I can probably afford my monkey town. Okay, so we have 11,000 right now. Yeah, it looks like it's enough. Oh, it costs more like 10,000, not 9,000. That's a bad estimate. Oh, right, I should have got a second village to make my um, this village cheaper. So that's a mistake. Let's get a second village here. And I'm going to build um, big ones under this village. Okay, this one isn't under the village. Uh oh. I almost leaked over there. Let's target this here. And I'll just continue echoing. I gotta focus on echoing. Okay, I don't know why my spike capot is targeting over here. It's kind of annoying. Uh, so when do I all out? So round 20, he could send me uh, ZOMG and fast combo. I'm not really concerned about BFBs and below because I can just spam mortar stalls, but ZOMGs are kind of difficult. I probably would have to use fan clubs and maybe energy beacon. So he could try to rush me round 22, and I have 60k, so I assume he has about the same amount. So he could send me 7 ZOMGs. I'm not very sure if I can defend that. Okay, he's not echoing anymore, so maybe he wants to all out me round 22. I'm gonna build up my defense. Okay, I already have 10 Dark Monkeys. Uh, let's see if he all outs me, I guess. I'm just gonna build a bunch of these Signal Flares. No all out from him. Let's get four Fan Clubs. He is not all outing me. Uh, then I'll all out him, I guess. Let's see if it works. Let's see if he defends this. It could be a difficult defense, but it's it's definitely possible for him to defend this. I think at least. Okay, I'm not even gonna bother defending those. I'm just gonna... Okay, I think he is trying to stall and counter. I think that's what he's trying to do. Uh, I can't stall this ZOMGs because... Okay, he's, he's dead first. Okay. So we've won on offsite. I think his main mistake was to not rush me. Okay, we've got a pretty fun loadout this time. So ninja farm boomerang. Uh, so usually if I have farm, my start would be to send four sets of blues and get a 1-0 farm. Uh, now I have to actually get up some defense. So I think I'll go for a boomerang over here. He might just go for, yeah, he's just going to go for his plantation and take the leaks. I'm going to send him pinks next round. Oh, eco nerf. Um, I think that reduces... My, I don't really remember what it does. Let's get a bionic boomer. I think it reduces eco by half or something. Okay, he's down to 14 lives, 10 lives. Maybe... Um, him getting a, a, a Glaive Ricochet wasn't the best idea. Okay, he's gonna eco-nerf me again. 
Oh right, I kind of forgot to use my dual eco boost, so I'm gonna use it right now. Okay, I'm still struggling against these balloons, so I should get up a bit more defense. Okay, he's out farming me by quite a bit. So I think eco nerf um, reduces the money you get when you sell stuff. So I'm gonna um, eco nerf him right now, and if he makes the mistake of selling. He can't buy his facility, and that's just what happened. That's what just happened, I mean. So he, he sold his farms when he was eco-nerfed. And he has no more eco-nerfs, so I'm kind of safe against that. Okay, now he has his facility, but I'm going to send him a bunch of pinks. I don't know if his defense will be enough. Okay, he gets a Glaive Ricochet. That should be enough. I'm going to try sending regen whites. It's probably going to be enough to defend. Yeah, let's just focus on farming right now. Okay, round 12 is coming next, so I want to get a bit of camel detection. So that I don't die against camels. Let's send him uh, some Camel Regen Ceramics. Oh right, he, we have Ninja as one of our towers. I forgot. I, I, I thought it was like <laughs> Boomerang and Farm only for some reason. I completely forgot we had Ninja. Uh, this farm spot is so difficult to place. Uh, let's just place the uh, easier farm spots first. I'm not too sure if I should spam Blunjitsus or if I should spam Turbocharges. But Turbocharge costs more, so maybe it's better. Don't really know. Oh right, but Blunjitsu takes up less space. Okay, he's sending me fast code on webs right now. Let's not die to this. We have to try to fill as much of the screen as possible with these towers. I want to get some um, Glaive Ricochets as well for defending grouped balloons because Blunjitsu isn't very good against grouped balloons. Gonna send him a uh, ZOMG and I think I'll do some BFBs behind. I think it's about time for me to sell those farms. Don't really need the farms. I have a bunch of money, so I think it's enough. We don't really have many good Glaive Lord spots. Let's send him more. Uh oh, I forgot to build Sabo. Route 22 is coming next. Okay, uh, so the game is going to end pretty soon. I don't know how... I don't know. I probably don't have enough um, Blunjitsus. Should have built more. But it's too late to regret. I don't, I don't know why he is not sending me. Okay, let's um, use Beefy Moabs. I kind of forgot to use that power. Looks like he also forgot. We're going to use it right now. Uh, let's send more. Okay, I have all these farms over here. I, I should be spamming um, Lujitsus, but I'm not for some reason. Time. Okay, uh, let's get Sabo. Um, I don't know if I should get Turbocharge or Lujitsus. Ooh, this game is going to end pretty soon. Ah, so many ZOMGs on my screen. There's no way we're defending this. One of us is gonna die pretty soon. I don't know who's gonna be. Oh, it's it's him. He's gonna die first. Um, I think this was because he was sending me spaced ZOMGs at the start for some reason. And this video is long enough, I think. So I'm gonna stop this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.